probably come up with any excuse to have my dogs in my videos. Hey y'all, it's Olivia Stone. It's June 1st of 2018 and it's time to know what the struggles of being a dog parent are. So I was thinking about it the other day and having dogs are a lot of work. So let's get in to my list of struggles of being a dog parent. Number one would be zero privacy. Can't go to the bathroom in private. You can't take a shower in private because they're always there trying to look in the curtain. You can't change your clothes in the same room as them because they're little creeps. Let's see what I should wear today. Gotta change. And number two, this one is pretty much only because Boulder is still a puppy, but he can be destructive. You just ran into me! Boulder, what are you doing? Did you do this? I think another thing would be dog training. Come on! Come on! Come on! <gasps> Boulder, sit! <gasps> Good boy! Pebble, watch me! Sit! Good girl! Such a good girl! Come on! Oh, this way! Come on, let's go! Oh, this way! Come on, let's go! Oh, come on! Oh, oh! Oh, oh! Come on! Come on, come on! Go ahead, this way! The next thing would probably... It's not really that big of a problem to me because you can just pull out a vacuum. But Boulder sheds. And he sheds a lot. And then that just leads in to my next problem of having to vacuum. And then when you're trying to vacuum, the dogs get in the way. They will literally attack the vacuum like it's a monster or something trying to kill them. But it's hilarious. Watch this clip. <laughs> Every time I watch it, I laugh. I mean, I have two minutes of that long a video. Comment down below if you guys want to see the entire video, because that's just a small clip of it. I don't know about you guys, but my dogs are pretty picky when it comes to eating their food. I mean, there's times that Boulder won't even eat until later in the day because he's just being stubborn and not wanting to eat what's put in front of him. Typical child. Eat your food. Pebble, eat your food. Boulder, eat your food. A little frustrating for me. Like, come on, eat your food. It's really not that hard. I shouldn't have to sit here for an hour until you're done eating your food. It's not something that should happen. <sighs> the other thing that everybody is very aware of is um, the amount that dogs go to the bathroom. Ugh. That is the worst part of being a dog parent, I would say, hands down. No matter how old your dog is, if you bring food into a general area that they are, they will beg, they will sit, they will sniff, they'll just look at you with their big puppy dog eyes. They're so cute. You want to give them food, but you know if you do, it's just going to make it worse the next time. <sighs> Which then brings me into our next one of them just being annoying and needy. Whenever they want something, they will let you know. But they're like, come on, let's go outside. Come on, let's go on a ride. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> they lick you everywhere, all the time. It's like you can't can't get him to stop. So much love and affection. Gah! No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
It's like, I love you, but please stop licking me. There is more to life than showing affection that way. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> so that is it for this list of the struggles of being a dog parent. Let me know in the comment section if you guys know of any other struggles that there are of being a dog parent. And maybe if I get enough suggestions, I'll make a part two. I just also realized that this entire list that I came up with could be said about children. They're picky, they're whiny, they're stubborn, yet they clean up after when they go to the bathroom. They whine and cry when they want something. Huh, little buggers? People always tell me that I will never understand what it's like to have a child until I actually have a child, which I completely understand. I'm sure there is nothing like it, but if there was something that was really close to it, I would say it would be having a dog. Make sure to stay tuned to Friday of next week. I am going to be doing this video, but the opposite. It will not be the struggles of being a dog parent. It will be the benefits of being a dog parent. So that is it for today. I hope you guys like my dogs. I mean, they're extremely cute. And if you do like them and you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to become part of the Water Down Tribe, just go down below, punch that red subscribe button, and jingle that bell to be notified every Tuesday and Friday of 2018 when I post. Please check out my social medias, and I will see you on the flip side. I love you so much. Bye. Stay on focus. Stay on focus. Stay, stay on. Ah, what am I trying to say? <sighs>